I'm Terry Acuna. I uh, work with uh, Casey Brick Lab. And as far as the, doing this airship, the idea behind it was I've never seen Lego fly. And what I have seen was uh, more for electronics and uh, you know MIT type students. And then now drones, of course. And I kind of wanted to do something that was minifig based and kind of fantasy, which makes it a lot easier because it doesn't have to be actual, you know, a replica. And uh, it's been two years in the making and, you know, and a lot of time and money. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's an incredible build here. So you've got like an airship here, which an airship is a fairly common Lego build that you see at shows, but you never see it with the actual balloon on top like this. So so that's obviously very unique. So before we pull it down and look at the details, why don't you talk about the balloon and kind of what your process was like with that? Uh, well, when I started, uh, I originally uh, started with the idea of maybe using a uh, weather balloon um, because they were the only thing large enough to carry Lego and even then, I kept going overweight and then buying a larger balloon and larger balloon. And then finally, it reached a point when I finally got a balloon large enough, then I realized it could pop. And that was a safety issue. And so I started looking into uh, an actual blimp. And nobody, all the advertising ones, they were already pre-made. And I didn't know how much weight they can carry or how to attach them to Lego. And I just happened to run across... Uh, a company, uh, Waterline Designs, and they were willing to custom make one for me. And it, they were fantastic. And uh, I kind of told them what I was wanting to do, and they made it happen. <laughs> you know, anchors and everything, wherever I needed. And so that way it f connects with Lego. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so so how much weight can this, this balloon hold? How much does the build end up weighing? The, the ship itself weighs about 12 pounds with the the strings and the blimp itself adds another uh almost three pounds okay yeah, yeah. Well, very impressive well now maybe we can pull it down here so so you've got it anchored about three spots here or two spots right now i guess uh around and just kind of making sure it's not floating away over the show <laughs> right um the, ho the whole thing is uh lit up by brick stuff i use theirs uh, their lighting system and then i tried using lego as uh, motors, uh, they were not strong enough uh, to uh, have any movement and as far as propellers. I, I built Lego propellers. That did not work because it was another safety issue. Mm -hmm. I actually got them to work, but they would shatter if they hit something. Uh, so I went to all RC. And uh, these are all drone motors and, and uh, lithium batteries. And so, that, and so I have a full remote system sitting over there that, that's a transmitter mm -hmm. and uh, well so then talk, talk a little bit about the design of the, the ship itself and kind of how you how you came up with that and what you were going for there well originally I went with the more traditional pirate ship looking mm -hmm. and I didn't really like the scale though it, it looked pretty cool so I went with something smaller that way I could leave it all open uh, since I, you know, it had the balloon above it. It didn't need to have it uh, a big cabin on the back. Plus, it added too much weight toward the back. And so, uh, I went with a smaller ship style. And I really liked the maroon. Uh, and it looked well when I put the wood grain uh, on top here. And since I was already maximum weight, I'm, you know, where the balloon was designed around how much it would weigh instead of the other way around. And uh, that's really how I came up with the color scheme was matching the wood grain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so you talked about, you know, you've got all the RC stuff in there and everything. So your goal then with this is to actually be able to kind of fly it around the room would be the goal. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, it has, it's, it's fully controlled as far as the rudder is connected to, the, to the, pro the motors here so for direction. And as an alternate, um, it's all, as it sets up here, I can um, run a string to the tail, which I haven't attached yet, and, and use that to uh, maneuver. Mm -hmm. and, and then as far as, uh, these are all for lift, lift only. And right now we have more helium than I need, um, and we're gonna have uh, weights put on them so that I can keep the helium in there, and then weigh it down, and the motors will do the lifting.